Well, look what we've got here. Tenant Super and Tenant Extra. Must be a taste test. <laughs> Following on from my UK brewery projects on Tenant's Brewery, I have managed to get my hands on a can of Tenant Super in this stonking 500 mil measure. It comes in at seven and a half percent, but this is brewed by AB InBev in Luton. And I'm putting it up against the Tenants Extra in a 330 ml bottle. This comes in at 9% and it's brewed in Well Park Brewery up in Glasgow. I am doing this um, just because I've seen um, I've had worse. Uh, David J on that brilliant channel, I love watching his stuff. He just recently done um, some, he's done a video on tenants and he's done some uh, white, um, I'm, I'm not gonna call it white lightning, white ciders that he sort of compared. And I did mention all his tenants one about this and I thought, yeah, actually I will try and find a super again. So I had another look and managed to find this at, surprisingly enough, the second closest store to me, which I didn't pop into last time. Uh, let's do a taste test. Let's get these out and open and we can talk about them a bit. When did I last have Tenant Super? Oh, don't know. Could be two years ago, actually. There we go. And now the uh, fancy looking bottle, which is Tenant's Extra. I have a slight tinkling of why this is perhaps about. So my understanding was that uh, CNC didn't want Tenant Super or maybe InBev wanted to keep it. Um, and they've obviously reduced the ABV, where CNC when they bought out Tenants, they didn't want a brand like that. The problem is Tenants is quite popular um, in other countries, Tenants Super, especially in Italy. And Italy, um, they tend to have it sometimes on draft and also in smaller measures. And I just wonder if this is for the export market only and it's aiming at Italy because it's very much um, saying products of Scotland and advertising that it's 9%, which is the higher ABV that it used to be. Whereas this is uh, aiming at, well, please drink responsibly, brewed in the United Kingdom, serve ice cold. So that's for the UK market. So I wonder if they don't want that image, but they do want the people that consider this a, an upmarket drink at 9%. Well, I'll say straight away, the head has disappeared off the bottle one. So I'm just gonna swirl it about a bit to make them look a bit better together. I'm gonna hold them up first of all. And I can sense there's a darkness on the tenants extra, just switching them. Yep. Just in case it was the light. The tenants extra is darker, more malt in there maybe, whereas this is definitely lighter. Right, let's go in and try the tenant super. Malt, quite sweet smelling malt, as you expect for these higher ABV drinks. Uh, let's tuck in. Surprisingly good. Um, oh dear, um, that's not bad actually. I mean, for the market it's aiming at, there are some of these higher ABV ones, uh, these what Americans may call malt liquors, uh, these stronger ABV beers on the market that are quite harsh, I find. This is actually quite smooth. It's smooth and actually well balanced. I'm surprised. Okay. Time to go on to the actual Scottish made one here out of the two. Tenants Extra. All right, that gives off more of an alcohol kick. Definitely more of an alcohol smell on that. All right, let's see, because that's already surprised me. I, I don't know what, what, how much more surprised I can be.
that's got more carbonation, even though it doesn't look like it from the uh, head on the bottle, on the drink here. That's warming. Um, oh dear, they, they, they taste similar. But there is a difference. Yeah, there is a difference. This is more maltier. Definitely more maltier. Um, but I don't think that makes it more enjoyable. I think the, um, the slight booze kick to it isn't as enjoyable. Um, I think I actually prefer the uh, Tenant Super. I'm absolutely shocked. <laughs> Both of them are actually decent, which I uh, perhaps wasn't expecting. Shocker. Uh, but yeah, Tenant Super wins it for me. I hope I don't regret ever saying that. Take care, everyone.